we are given y equals natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. We're asked to determine the derivative function and the slope of the tangent line at x equals two. So again, we are given the function y equals natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. Notice we do have a composite function where the inner function, often referred to as u, is x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. So if we have u equals x plus, let's write the square root using a rational exponent, which gives us the quantity x squared plus 32, raised to the power of positive 1 half, and this form, it'll be much easier to determine u prime, which we need to apply the chain rule, where u prime is equal to the derivative of x plus the quantity x squared plus 32 raised to the power of 1 half with respect to x. The derivative of x with respect to x is one, and then we have plus the derivative of the quantity x squared plus 32 raised to the power of positive 1 half, which is also going to require the chain rule, where the inner function, which we'll call v, is equal to x squared plus 32. So if v is equal to x squared plus 32, we know we'll have to determine v prime to apply the chain rule where v prime is equal to the derivative of x squared plus 32, which is 2x. So now we can just think of this as v to the power of 1 half. The derivative of v to the power of 1 half with respect to x is equal to 1 half times v to the power of negative 1 half times v prime or in our case, one half times the quantity x squared plus 32 raised to the power of negative one half times two x. Notice how this product does simplify. Two divided by two simplifies to one. So let's write u prime as u prime equals one plus, let's write this as x divided by the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. Notice here I moved x squared plus 32 down to the denominator, which changed the exponent to a positive one half, and the exponent of a positive one half is equivalent to the square root. And now for the next step, let's find this sum. Notice how we can write one as the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32 divided by itself. So again, notice how this is still equal to one, and now we have a common denominator of the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. Where for the sum, we know our denominator is going to be the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32, and let's write the numerator as x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. You'll see in a moment why I decided to determine this sum. So now going back to our original function, again, we can now just think of this as y equals natural log u, and the derivative of natural log u with respect to x is equal to one divided by u times u prime, or if we wanted u prime divided by u. I'm gonna go ahead and use one divided by u times u prime. So y prime is equal to, again, one divided by u gives us one divided by the quantity x plus Let's write this as the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32, rather than using the exponent of 1 half, and then times u prime, where u prime is the quantity x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32, all divided by the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. And now you can see why I wanted to write u prime in this form. Notice how there's a common factor of x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32 between the numerator and denominator that will simplify to one. Giving us y prime is equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. Let's go ahead and record this above and then we'll determine the slope of the tangent line at x equals two. To determine the slope of the tangent line at x equals two, we need to determine the derivative function value at x equals two, which is one divided by the square root 
of the quantity 2 squared plus 32. Well, 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 32 is 36, giving us 1 divided by the square root of 36. And the square root of 36 is 6. Y prime of 2 equals 1 sixth, which indicates the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2 is m equals 1 sixth. And let's take a look at this graphically. In blue, we have the graph of the curve given by y equals natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 32. This red point is a point on the curve where x equals two. And this red line is a tangent line at the point. And the slope of this red line is m equals 1 sixth, which verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.